I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. If you're new to this version, look for information in the video description below so you can learn the fundamentals and download this quick reference. In here are all the scoring elements. You'll need that to follow along with this game of solitaire. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we'll look at everybody's hand and see if there are some patterns that we can leverage. Maybe we can identify some of those scoring elements. Oh, and it's going to be the East round. That wind of the round could come into play. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one. I think what I would do here is play outside hand, dragon pung. Outside hand is number 55. Four pungs or chows in a pair where each set has terminals or honors. That's four fawn. Dragon pung is two fawn. That's number 59. So that would be six. We would need two fawn somewhere else. We have an eight, a one, three, a nine. These would have to be discarded in the six here. Here's an eight, nine. Maybe we could void a suit. That would be a fawn. Voided suit is number 75. That's one fawn. We would need one more fawn somewhere. Maybe we could pair up and pung another dragon. That would be another two fawn. I think I would just wait and see what happens. Start by discarding the six dot. Let's see what happens. We're going to look at the hand for south now. Okay, for this player, we have two pair in dots, four, five. We have one, two, three, four terminals in honors. Maybe what we could do here is play all simples, two through eight. All simples is number 68. That's only two fawn though. So we would need to look at repeating patterns in here or maybe pair up and do all pung we only have two pair though so that's going to be a push all pung is number 49 that's six fawn though there's not much of a repeating pattern like chow double chow mixed triple chow pure double chow unless we get threes or sixes here. We could maybe do pure double chow, number 69. That's one fawn. All right, well, let's see what happens. Let's start by discarding the one bam. And then maybe the nine crack. Because if we draw in dots, we could maybe play a half flush. So we'll see. Let's look and see what we can do for West. This is going to be a challenge here. Although we do have seven, eight, seven, nine, eight pair of fives. So there's a little bit of a repeating pattern there. We do have all the fours. I think what I would do, since we have so many of the numbered tiles, three, three, and four, I would discard the wins first. 
and then try to leverage either the fours or the seven, eight, nine mixed triple chow potential. Mixed triple chow is number 41. That's eight fawn. We'll see what happens there. We can start by discarding those. Okay, for north, two bams, four cracks, six dots, one honor. Honors are wins and dragons. So we do have three, one, two, one, two, three. Mixed triple chow. That's in almost every hand. That's kind of interesting. Three, seven, one, two, nine, one, two, three, seven, nine. I think we could do maybe outside hand here and maybe mix triple chow. One, two, three, outside hand. I think I would start by discarding the five and the four and see about outside hand here. Okay, we're gonna start by discarding. Here, we were going to do outside hand. So let's discard six dot. I'm gonna use this to mark whose turn it is. Okay, we got a one, two, three, chow. I think we were thinking all simples. Let's discard the red dragon. So now they have no honors. That's a fawn. We need seven more. All right, we're gonna draw here because nobody can take that red dragon. One crack. I think we were talking about keeping number tiles. There is a slight potential for knitted here, knitted, uh, knitted, lesser honors and knitted tiles. One, four, seven. There's one, four, seven there and there, but we need a three, six, nine in here. And here's two, five, eight, two, five, eight, one, four, seven, three, six, nine. And then the, uh, the honors. I think what we were thinking here though is maybe all simples. Since we have four, seven here, and we have, let's see, mostly cracks. Five, eight, oh, outside hand. Let's get rid of the four dot. I think I was thinking all simples, but we're yeah, all simples because of the fives. I should have kept that four dot. Oh, well, we'll try to recover. I probably should have discarded this one and kept the four. I think all simples is what I was thinking of doing here. All right, we can recover from one tile. Let's draw. Oh, you know what? Here, we are thinking mixed triple chow, four dot. I mean... We could take that for a two, three, four, but we have a one, two, and a three here. We already have a one, two, three. I think I would let it go. Four bam. Okay, let's get rid of the green dragon. So now they have no honors and it's East turn. Oh, Pung, Dragon Pung, Dragon Pung. That's too fun. We need more. Okay, I think we're thinking outside hand. Let's get rid of, let's see here. Outside hand, outside hand number 55 is four fawn. Dragon Pung is two, so that's six. Part of me is wondering if we should play half flush. 
Let's void a suit and get rid of the eight. We have a single eight, a single nine. I was just thinking that even if we play outside hand, we're gonna have to discard those two and those are isolated tiles. So we voided a suit, that's a fawn. We'll see what happens. Let's draw. Oh, hey, maybe we could chow. Let's see, one, two, three. We have two pair though. One, two, three, two pair, seven, nine, eight, nine. Hmm. I think I was thinking about all simples here. We have three discards. We discarded a red dragon. Let's let it go and draw. Wait, yeah, because we have a seven. We can't, if we do seven, eight, nine, that uses a terminal. All simples has no ones and nines. So let's draw. We got a four crack. So that's good. Four crack. All right, let's see here. Because <laughs> all these tiles are tied into each other. We could chow, chow, or chow, chow, pung, chow, already there. But there's no score there. Because we're mixing, potentially mixing pungs and chows. So we've got to make a choice. We have one, two, three discards for all simples. All simples is too fawn. So we would need more score from somewhere. We have a two, three, a two, four, and a four. So there's some repeating pattern there with two, three, four potential. Or if we can get a three dot or a six dot, we could maybe do pure double chow. We have to make a choice right now because we have to discard. I'm gonna keep the nine since we have mostly dots by one tile. Actually five and five, we have the same number. Let's get rid of the one bam. I hate breaking up a chow, but really we're closer to all simples. All right, let's draw. Six bam. Oh, three, six, nine. One, four, seven. We discarded that four dot. I think we were gonna do two, five, eight here. We got a five, eight right there. Yeah, I don't think I would try outside hand at this point. Or not outside hand, but lesser honors and knitted tiles. We gotta do something here though, let's see. Four, five, eight, seven, eight, seven, nine, honors. Uh, three, six, nine, one, four, seven, two, five, eight. Hmm. Pair of fives. Okay, let's focus on mixed triple chow. We got a pair of fives we can leverage for a pair. Let's get rid of the honors. South. Six dot. All right, six dot. Ooh, we have a potential here for a pure straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pure straight. Number 28. That's 16 fawn. Let's go for that. Pure straight. Potential chow. Isolated. Potential chow. Isolated. Let's get rid of the seven bam. Okay. 
Nobody can take the seven bam, so we'll draw north. This is where we're trying to figure out where to get our score. We have a pung of dragons out. We were thinking half flesh. These single honors are painful. We could do outside hand, but we'd have so we'd have to get rid of these. We could chow chow. Outside hand is four fawn. Dragon pung is two. We need two more somewhere else. That's why I was thinking about a half flesh. Let's try the half flesh. Nine bam. We're gonna go for half flesh. Half flesh, dragon pung, we need to pair up. So this is this is gonna be a push. But half flesh number 50 that's six fawn and dragon pung is another six we can chow chow we just need to pair up and pung nine bam was thrown let's draw okay that's a simple i think we're looking at simples here so let's just get rid of these nines nine crack nobody can take it so we'll draw north we were getting rid of these winds mixed triple chow is what we want there eight crack okay that's chow potential chow potential potential here isolated We're going to draw here. Two bam. We want cracks. Three dot. Okay, that's a simple and a dot. Let's get rid of this nine dot. Go for all simples. Now we have the, that potential for a pure double chow. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Three, four, five, three, four, five. Three, four, five, four. So there's some some potential coming in here. All simples, pure double chow. Pure double chow is only one fawn, so we need more. All simples is Two fawn, that's only three fawn. We need to do a, mix, a pure mixed triple chow in here somewhere to get some more score. Maybe we could do fives in all. Five, we have, we need a five crack, but all fives. Number 31, that's 16 fawn. Four pungs or chows in a pair where each includes the number five. Three, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, five, six, seven, four, five, six. This is doable. Although there's a five crack out right now. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's draw here. Maybe we could have punged that five. I think we were thinking all simples here or I think we were thinking seven eight nine mixed triple chow pair of fives south we discarded that oh well eight dot oh nice seven eight nine we need a five dot eight nine one two three three four side weight side weight that's stronger than an edge weight this is an edge weight because we're waiting on the three. Edge weight because we're waiting on the seven. This is a side weight. We have one, two, three, four blocks. All we need in here is a pair. There's a nine crack out. Let's discard that. Next, we can get rid of that eight crack. Nine crack was thrown. Nobody can take it. Red Dragon, we paired up. We got another pair. We can Pung maybe. Let's get rid of this three bam. 
Okay, half flesh is looking good here. Potential Pung, Potential Chow, Potential Chow. We have a Green Dragon Pung out right now. So that's half flesh, two Dragon Pungs. That'll meet the eight fawn minimum. Three BM. We have a two three here. Nobody can take a three BM, so we'll draw. Nine BM. We're going for all simples. Nobody can take the nine BM. Four crack. Okay. Four crack. Oh, let's get rid of the winds. West. Okay. Four, five, four, five, four, six. All right. Well, we'll see what happens here. We have no four, five, or six in dots, but we could draw it. We need some mixed triple chow potential in here or pair up in all pung. We have only two pair though. Okay, so West was discarded. Nobody can take it. Six bam. That's not helpful. We have a side weight there. Let's get rid of this eight crack. Either way here, we could use a five or a two. They could have chowed maybe a while ago, but right now they're concealed. Let's draw two bam. Oh, you can't, you can't chow from the player on your right. You can only chow from the player on your left. Two bam. So that's the second two bam out. And they're good here. We just got through the second wall. We're now going into the middle game. Everybody should know where they're going to get their score. Here we're playing a half flesh and dragon pungs too. Here we're playing all simples. Maybe three, four, five, or four, five, six, mixed triple chow, pure double chow. We got work to do here. We could stay all concealed as well to try to get some more score. Here we have mixed triple chow potential. We also can do all simples maybe here but we have eight, seven, eight, seven, nine. There's some mixed triple chow potential there. And here, pure straight. We're gonna draw nine dot. We got all simples in there. Eight bam. That'll be a keeper. Seven, eight, nine. Let's get rid of the east. Okay. Eight, nine, seven, eight. Seven, eight, nine. Let's get rid of the one. Oh, I already threw. Back that up. Four, four. Okay. Drawing four. North. Oh, six. We got a pair. We need a pair. Let's get rid of the one, two there. This is a side weight, so that's good. One crack. They're very close. They're two away from a pure straight. One crack. Nobody can take it. One bam. We want cracks. Nobody can take the one bam. Now this player could, but we're trying for all simples and maybe stay concealed. One crack. Seven crack, that is a good tile. Seven, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Potential chow, two pair. Let's get rid of this one crack. We're gonna draw up here. Six dot. 
Well, let's just keep it. We need a five dot in there. Let's get rid of the two crack because now we voided a suit. That's another fawn. Five bam. Nobody wanted the one. Let's discard that. Two dot. That's a keeper. That's a simple. So now we have two, three, two, three, four, two, four, mixed triple chow potential. We have a pair. Potential chow. We still need a pair in here. It may or may not be good for this right here, but there's also chow potential here and here. Let's go ahead and get rid of the five bam. So two, three, four, mixed triple chow. That's what I think we should try here. Five bam. Okay, here we, we can decide if we want to chow. If we chow that, we can then do mixed triple chow and be closer because we have a pair or potential pung. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks. We have too many, too much going on in here. I just wonder if we should stay concealed. The challenge here is that there are two nine cracks out and there are two nine dots out. I think because we have the four and the five, I would let it go and use these as discards because if those nines go down, we need to regroup and come up with another plan and staying concealed may help give us that flexibility. Let's draw two crack. There's some chow potential there and we have a pair there. So let's go ahead and get rid of four bam. We can get rid of that six next. Four bam. We look, we need a five bam and a five dot there. Eight bam. We have a pair here. Let's discard that eight bam. Nobody can take it. Seven bam. We need cracks. Seven bam. No. Seven bam. Nine crack. They got the nine crack. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, we need some help right here. Let's get rid of the six bam. Mix triple chow. And then we have two pair here. We, we could be maybe ready on a double weight. If we can get a nine dot, we'll see. Let's draw. Eight bam. We need a crack or an honor. Three dot. Okay, up here. So two, three, four, three, four, five, two, three, two, three, four, mix triple chow. Right now they're concealed. We do need a pair in here and there's a pair. One, two, three, four, five blocks. They have the blocks they need. And two, three, four is what we want. One, two, three, pair. One, two, three, four, five. We really don't need the seven. If we use this five as the pair, we don't need that three dot either. Let's draw seven crack. I think that was a good choice. We got a chow. Two, three, two, three, four discards here, pair. There's a chow. One, two, three, four, five. Let's discard the seven dot. All right, now 
we need a three crack here or a four bam there's one four bam out seven dot was discarded let's draw five dot we need seven eight nine five dot we're gonna chow four five six four five six for north so they have their pier straight we're going to discard a six dot okay and they need a two bam or a five bam to win on a pier straight so we're going to draw down here six dot was discarded so we'll, we'll draw one dot they cannot get chow or cracks one dot we're looking for two three four we do not want that one dot and all simples three crack they got the three crack so, three four pair of fives discard the four two three four ready on a four bam for mixed triple chow and all simples so two players are ready to win this player is getting close. Let's draw. Six dot. That's a chow. Let's discard this two crack. Eh. Pairs. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Mixed triple chow. That's what we want right there. One, two, three blocks. If we discard this two crack, they are ready on a double weight with a four five but all they have here is concealed because there's no other pattern there is mixed double chow but that's number 70 and it's only one fawn I think we should stick with pure or mixed triple chow. Let's get rid of the six dot. Okay, they're ready to win, so we don't want to chow or anything. We need a five bam or a two bam here. Seven crack. We're gonna chow. Chow. Discard five bam. Mahjong. So that would be their winning tile. Here's their pair. We have one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six pure straight a side weight I don't think you get anything for a side weight the weights are edge closed and side uh, single so they won't get extra score for a side weight That pier straight came in nicely, middle of the middle game. It was relatively quick, I think. And East was cleared to a half flush. They had a dragon pung and a potential dragon pung and a potential chow and then some single honors. So they had work to do. Mixed triple chow was coming in for South and West, but they both had work to do. 
I think North drew well. And then also claiming that five dot was a good move. If they had been able to draw that themselves though, they would have been concealed and that would have been more score. But 17 fawn, that's decent. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.